Sam, are you playing Zomber Geek again? Well, yes, can't I? You've played it so many times already. Aren't you bored? How can I get bored with a zombie game? Don't you know how popular this game is? Our video review of this game got over 1 million views! It's so cool! Give a thumbs up if you've seen our video review! That certainly is cool! Isn't it a motive to make another game review? Which game? Well, for example, Plants vs. Zombies! Huh, a moment… Here! Ah, uh, I don't get it. We shouldn't make a review of the Plants vs. Zombie game. We should make a Plants vs. Zombies game from cardboard! Well, we can do that. Let's go! <laughs> Hi, guys! Today… Huh? What, what, what's that? It's a motor, Sammy. And wires. What are they for? To get our game running. <laughs> You'll see. Hi! Today's project includes working with wires, so make sure to ask an adult to help you. No, no, no. I'm not going to work with wires. I, I'm a slime, not an electrician. Fine, fine. Then you'll make the game characters. Zombies? Yes, zombies. Let me show you how to assemble one character, and you'll make the rest yourself. Yes, I'm ready. You can start. OK, so first you need to attach the template to a piece of cardboard and carefully cut the part along the template. There are many curves here, so be very careful and keep your fingers safe. I'm going to keep my whole self safe when I cut something, just in case. Well, it's better to be safe than sorry. Here's the part we've made. Now, we need to roll it. Let's carefully apply two drops of glue and attach pieces of straw inside. One and two. And close the piece tight. There. We need to apply some cardboard glue on top to make the piece sturdier. That's right. We want to play this game many, many times. Next, we'll need these two sticks. Let's insert one stick into the straws and insert the thin stick into the opening. Oh, no! It's an accident, honest! Oh, I thought you were watching attentively! I am! I just saw the rubber band and blacked out! Well, I hope you notice how I attach the rubber band. This is the finished piece. We only need to attach the picture of a character. Rawr. So bright! I don't know if I can shoot it. Well, if you don't want your brains to be eaten, then you'll have to. And… There. That's how you do it. See? Yes, ma'am. Then take all the materials and go. To keep you entertained while we're working on our cardboard game, I'll ask you questions about zombies. The answers will be at the end of the video. Oh, yes, yes, yes. They will. <laughs> Question number one. Which zombie movie is considered to be the inspiration for all other zombie movies? Pause the video and write your answer. Actually, there are many zombie movies. Hundreds of movies and TV series about these creatures. I'm a bit scared to watch them. What about you guys? Do you watch zombie movies? Hey, Sam, what are you doing here? You should be making game characters. Oopsie. <laughs> And meanwhile, <laughs> I made the base for the shooter, which we will use to shoot zombies down and keep them from getting to the finish. I only need to glue the cardboard walls. And while you're gluing the walls, I'll ask another question. All right. What's the name of a series of movies which stars Mila Jovovich? Oh, oh, I know, I know! Shh! The answers will be at the end. Oh, right. And I only need to decorate the shooter now. Done! Yes, like the game! Wait, are we going to be on the side of plants? Yes, is there something wrong? No, no, it's fine. Let me show you how it works. I'll insert magnets. And... Phew! Phew! <laughs> it's more than fine, it's awesome! I'm off to make all the game characters. Pieces are rather large. There's more space here. Ah, I've got everything. Uh, yes, I can continue. I'll use these pieces to assemble the base for the whole game. Let's call it the game box because it'll look just like a box. But besides the side walls, our game box will have additional pieces inside. So many pieces. I'm using so much glue. I keep changing glue sticks one after the other. I don't need to change anything to ask question number three. Which country has a law that forbids turning people into zombies? Uh, is that really a thing? Do you think one can turn people into zombies without punishment? Oh, uh, no, of course not. That's right. 
Well, think about it and I'll continue my work. Two more questions are left. Guys, do you want to learn the answers to Sam's questions? Then watch the video till the end. Especially since we're going to show you how to play this game. Let's grab the motor and the wires. We need to set the motor in place. Without it, the game just won't work. It's a very important part. And this support will hold the mechanism for starting the game. I only need to add a stick. There. Now the wires. I've made several notches to let the wires through. And now here comes a crucial moment. Let's connect all the wires. Go on, connect them, and I'll talk to the viewers and ask another interesting question. What's the name of the most well-known zombie flash mob which takes place all over the world each year? Zombie flash mob? Sounds eerie. Don't worry, Susie. It's not with real zombies, just people in zombie costumes. Phew, what a relief. How's it coming? Here? All's good. And what about you? Did you make all the zombie characters? One, two, three, well, just a couple left. <laughs> yeah, something tells me you've got more than a couple left. Well, no. Besides, I need to ask the last question. First, finish making the characters, and then you can ask the question. Fine. And I'll attach this piece. I need to insert a coin here to start the game. It makes it look like a real game. See? Let's attach it to its place. And now, I need to pull up all the threads and wires. And set the front panel. The coin slot will stick out from here. Okay, let's check if it works. I'll insert the coin and pull the thread. Great! We only need one coin for this game. Fifth question! Oh! Phew, why are you trying to scare me, Sam? Sorry, I just really wanted to ask the question. Ask away. What is considered to be the most desired food for zombies? Oh, that's easy. It's shh. Let our viewers write it. Well, no, I'm satisfied. I'll go finish making the characters. Go on, we'll need them very soon. Right, most of the machine is done. Now let's take these circles and parchment and hop! We get these two pieces. Let's insert them into our machine. Carefully now. I don't want to ruin anything. <laughs> they spin so well! I made the pattern with hot glue. Now I'll add a few more pieces. One and two. And now... Zombie! <laughs> no, Sam, too early! Uh. It's electricity time! Oh, that's interesting. If you're interested, watch. I need to attach that small mechanism to the side of the game. I'll place it onto the cardboard ledge. I never thought I'd be making cardboard ledges. <laughs> this is fun. And there you go. Nice and slow. <laughs> and add a few drops of glue to make sure it stays in place. I don't want it to fall off at a crucial moment. Now let's connect all these wires to the batteries. It's important to watch out for polarity. Is polarity the minus and plus, which are usually shown on batteries? Yes, that's right. I'm glad you remember these things. Sure, I remember lots of things, but sometimes they hide so deep it's hard to get them out. So deep like that Tibidabo Lake. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that. What do you need these rubber bands for? I need to fix them to the board for the game finale. I'll let the rubber bands through here and secure them with glue. Just a bit left. Then it's time to give the answers to my zombie questions. All right, and I'll add some finishing touches to our game. So, the answer to the first question, the movie that became the inspiration for all other zombie movies is The Night of the Living Dead. The answer to the second question, a series of movies that stars Mila Jovovich is Resident Evil. The answer to the third question, the country where the law forbids to turn people into zombies is Haiti. The answer to the fourth question, the most well-known zombie flash mob is called Zombie Walk. And the answer to the fifth question, the most desired zombie food is human brain. That's right! Guys, I applaud everyone who answered all five questions without consulting anyone. You're real experts on the zombie culture. While Sam was giving the answers to his questions, I finished these pieces. They are necessary to stop the game. Look, one wire is connected to the stick and the second one to a piece of metal. If the stick touches the metal, the game stops. See? Is it finished yet? 
Almost. Bring all the characters you made. A moment. And I'll attach clear plastic film here. It'll help our zombies to move forward. I'll secure it with clear tape. Oh, one more piece left to glue. Now that all the decorative pieces are in place, we'll attach the shooter. I'll poke the cardboard wall with some sticks glued together. And then I'll pull the stick through the handle of the shooter. And cut off the excess. Boom. Here are all the zombies! Oh, great! Let's place them on the board. And no rushing through this stage. If the characters aren't placed right, it'll be harder to shoot them. Can we play? Can we? Can we? Can we? There's one last piece left. We need to mark the finish. Sure, it's not that interesting without the finish. From the computer straight to cardboard, we made the game 3D! Yay! I can't wait to play! Let's do it! The shooter is charged, and the coin is in. Zombies are coming! Oh no! I aim, and… Pew! Yeah. Pew! Yeah. <laughs> Back, zombies! You won't take my brain! Oh no! Oh no 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 no! Oh, come on! Come on! Yeah, Here we go. And... Oh! Uh. Lost. Okay. One more time. In you go. And... Zombies, beware! I'm gonna get you all! Yeah. And... Pew! Go, go. Pew! Pew! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Here he comes. And... Take that! <laughs> Oh, guys, I can see the big zombie! And get out of here! That's how you do it! That's it, Sue! You can put Zomber Geek away! Now this is my favorite game! <laughs> well, I won't put it too far away in case you want some variety. Hey, guys, did you like this game? Give a thumbs up if you did! And if this video gets 10,000 thumbs up, we'll make another zombie video! Bye bye The most skillful and noble archers came to the knight tournament from all over the kingdom to demonstrate their skill. The best of them got a fitting reward. They competed in precision? Oh, Sue, I want to do that too! Do you think we can do that? Well, I don't know. Please, you can make anything in the world from cardboard! Fine, maybe not exactly like that, but you'll like it, I'm sure. And it'll entertain our viewers. What do you say, guys? Do you like showing off your precision? Especially for a prize? We'll start with a popsicle stick. And measure 9 centimeters with the help of a ruler. Now, I'll cut off the excess. Watch your fingers, guys. And you better ask an adult to help you. We'll need two longer sticks. And one a bit shorter. Now, we can glue them. Hey, Sam, would you be so kind? Uh, yes. Yes, I've got everything ready. Here! Why, thank you. Let's apply the glue carefully and place it on the other stick carefully. Let's even it out a bit. The short stick should be in the middle, and there should be an empty space in here. Sam, bring me the file, please. Huh? Oh, yes, yes, I've got that ready as well. Here, my lady. Thank you, my lord. <laughs> Let's make a notch here. This is where the bowstring made of rubber band will be. Yes, this is exactly what we need. Our bowstring should hold really well. Accidental shots are very dangerous, guys. Well, not as dangerous in our case, but you're right. We'd better avoid them. You should definitely ask an adult to help you with this step. We need a small, neat hole. Hey, Sam, could you give me one more stick? Just a moment! Ah! Great! Let's draw our next piece. Follow the measurements closely, guys. The pieces should fit perfectly. Now, let's cut it out carefully. Don't do this without adult supervision. And... Done! 
I've made a small opening here. You'll see what it's for in just a moment. Now I need to assemble the mechanism. We'll take a mini nail out of a paperclip piece and bend it. Nails are actually hammered in, not inserted into openings made in advance. Really? I had no idea you were an expert carpenter. What are these things called? Actually, I have no idea. <laughs> Let's apply some glue here. Don't rush it. It'll be the base for our crossbow. Great. And this is where the rubber band goes. It's very delicate work. Be very careful and don't overdo it. These are our openings. Let's glue the piece to the base. Now it looks like a real crossbow, right guys? Targets beware! Let's close it on top to make it safer and prettier and add a bit of glue. Oh, what a beauty. May I hold it? Sure, Sammy. The crossbow is done. I feel like a royal archer. You look like one. Now let's continue. We also need some targets. Sure. Here, be careful. Yes, guys, don't aim it at yourself or other people. Shoot only at the targets. <laughs> awesome! Let's move on to the targets, guys. It's very important to go slowly here while you're working with a knife. We've got lots of time and only 10 fingers. Now let's press the rectangles out. We won't need them. Let's make five holes for future targets. You can actually make more. It all depends on you guys. Hey, Sam, could you please bring me a skewer? Here you go, Sue! Thanks! Right, I need to cut pieces about one centimeter long. We'll hang our targets on them. And I'll add a bit of glue to make it secure. We'll glue these pieces on two sides. Once again, try to follow the measurements exactly. Here, the sides are done! Perfect! We need to glue the bottom slightly sideways. Hot glue will work best here. This is where the shot down targets will go. A back exit into the box with targets. Let's cut it out. If you want to cut it out yourselves, remember my rule about fingers and don't hurry. We get this kind of a door. Let's assemble it now. Use as much glue as you need and be very careful. Wow, Sue, this looks like something. I hope it looks like a future shooting range. A handle for convenience. And the finishing touch for our box, a lid. To keep the rain out. <laughs> if you say so, Sammy. Which one should we use, Sam? Uh, let's take the bigger one, Sue. I need a challenge. Well, all right, you asked for it. Voila! The shooting range is almost done. There's our crossbow. Here! Let's work on it a bit more. We'll glue this piece to the bottom. Here. Sam, please bring me another skewer. It should match the width of the range. Just a moment. And our crossbow will also need legs, guys. <laughs> so it's done! I hope I got the length right. Thank you, Sam. You've got a great eye. I think you'll make a wonderful archer. Yeah, think so? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I've inserted the stick into the opening. Now let's fix the legs, like this. And attach it all to the base. Now our crossbow is firm on its legs. Awesome! I'm ready to win! Wait, wait, Mr. Archer. There aren't any targets yet. Are you ready to fight the dragon, brave Sammy? Whoa! I mean, of course I am. For honor. That's more like it. Guys, how would you decorate the box for targets? Write in the comments! Here are our targets. Let's write numbers here to mark the prizes. Did you say prizes? Tell me more, Sue. You'll know in a bit, Sammy. You decide, guys, how you hang the teeth. Numbers facing forward or backwards. We'll make a challenge with surprises. Well, for Sam at least. I know where everything is. We only need to make prize signs with numbers. I've got everything ready! Sam, that's great! Then we can start! The archer that hits number four gets a small candy. I hope I'll win at least that. Tasty cookies for number three, but there are only three of them. 
A whole chest of sweet treats for number two. Maybe I'll get lucky. And the one who hits X gets nothing. Hey, that's not fair. I didn't know that you could win nothing. Sorry, Sammy. These are the rules. Oh, please, not that one. And the last one is an intact jar of Nutella. Let the tournament begin! Wow! Let's draw lots for the right to shoot first. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, Sammy, but you'll be the second one to shoot. Well, good luck, Sue. Sorry, Sam, but Nutella is mine. Right number one is right there. <coughs> How? Wh what? <laughs> it's okay, Sue. Better luck next time. Okay, let's give it a try. Ready? Fire! Huh? Yay! Cookies! Come on, come on. Hey, it's not that easy. Press lightly and breathe evenly, Sue. Don't hurry. Ha <laughs> ha! Master Archer aims his crossbow again and hit! Yes! Oh, wow! It's a whole chest of candies! Try again and. Oh, this can't be! Wind correction. Oh, wait, there's no wind here. Okay, fine. Push gently as I breathe out. Oh, wow! Did I hit it? I can't believe it! You know, Sam, you're a really good archer. I cheated a bit because I knew where each number was, but you were the best. I think this candy is yours, too. Aw, oh, Sue, come on. If it hadn't been for you, we wouldn't have this cool shooting range. I think we should divide the prizes. Sam? Are you sure? I'm sure of it. It'll be very chivalrous. You're a real knight, Sam. You aren't angry with my cheating? We all cheat sometimes, right? <laughs> right. Guys, I hope you liked our shooting range and we'll hold your own glorious tournaments.